Discovered in 1655 by Christian Huygens, Titan is Saturn's biggest of 62 moons and the second biggest moon in the solar system. In the past, there have been several probes that have flown by the moon. In 1979, Pioneer 11 entered the Centurion system and found Titan to be extremely cold and probably unable to support life. Soon after, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 flew to take pictures and gather more research. The data collected suggested that Titan could have bodies of liquid. The pictures, however, were unable to capture the surface of the moon due to Titan's thick atmosphere. It wasn't until the launching of the 1997 Cassini-Huygens missions that reached Saturn in 2004 that humans were able to confirm that rivers and lakes of methane do exist on Titan as well as different forms of precipitation that teams with fluids to create features on the surface. The Cassini-Huygens mission was designed to study Saturn as well as Saturn's rings and the moons orbiting the planet. The mission had two probes, Cassini and Huygens. Cassini would orbit Saturn and Huygens would be sent down to Titan's service to study the atmosphere and study the moon. Using the two probes, scientists hoped to learn more about the surface as well as the bodies of liquid on Titan. Cassini was built with a radar dubbed the Titan Radar Mapper, since it was built specifically to map the surface. The radar allowed for pictures of the surface by measuring reflected microwaves instead of using visible light to capture an image. This radar would allow Cassini to uncover what was beneath Titan's thick atmosphere better than any ordinary picture was able to. The pictures taken from the instrument revealed a world that looked shockingly Earth-like, containing what looked to be bodies of liquid, rivers, craters, mountains, and possibly volcanoes. With the mapped out surface, scientists were able to name different features of the moon after different literature and mythology sources, including the works of J.R.R. Tolkien. Cassini achieved the goal of mapping the surface, but the mission was able to go a step further by having the Huygens probe land on the surface of the moon. The probe Huygens separated from Cassini to attempt a landing on Titan to gain further data within the atmosphere and surface of the moon. Huygens successfully landed on Titan on January 14, 2005 and was able to send back data for a few hours. Huygens was the first probe to land in the outer solar system and remains the furthest landing man-made object. Huygens separated from Cassini in orbit around Titan and descended through the thick atmosphere down to the moon. During the fall through the atmosphere, Huygens was able to take pictures showing more evidence of liquid on the surface of the moon. The pictures showed drainage channels flowing into a possible body of liquid. These drainage channels of methane displayed that erosion occurs on Titan in a similar way to water drainage channels on Earth. Once the probe had landed, pictures of the surface were taken. These photos showed a flat plane with rocks of different sizes. The pictured rocks were rounded, indicating the presence of liquid acting to round off the rocks. However, when the probe landed, it kicked up a bit of dust, which may indicate that the area was dry and hadn't seen any form of liquid in some time. Titan is particularly interesting because it displays many Earth-like features. With more research, science can start developing more theories about the origins and manifestations of life. On Earth, it is predicted that life started in the ocean. Since there are bodies of liquid on Titan, there is a possibility that life can be developing right now. Titan may be similar to what our Earth looked like many years ago. With further research on Titan, we could discover information about how life started on Earth as well as the conditions necessary to create life. Future missions to Titan could answer the question to what's below the surface of the bodies of liquid on Titan. Currently, there is a proposed mission to Titan that would include an autonomous vehicle that would be able to explore Kraken Mar, the largest of the lakes on Titan. Kraken Mar is about the same size as the Great Lakes, which would provide sufficient room to explore. With the research able to be conducted using this vehicle, scientists could be one step closer to finding life on an alien planet, or finding out ways in which life is created. However, as 2014, the mission was still only a concept. The vehicle, or the Titan submarine, does not have a design, which means it could be a while until the depths of Kraken Mar is explored. Other planned missions to Titan include air balloons that collect data from the atmosphere, as well as drones that fly above the surface. Thanks for watching, and check out our other videos.